All right. We're on. Welcome, everybody. Hello. Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining us today for our Semiamu fireside chat. Um, here at Semiamu Resort, we are sitting up in Packers. Um, it's a pretty socked in, typical Pacific Northwest weather here. Not bad. Not, Not bad. bad. You can actually see out there. So yeah. I know. You can see the other side. You can Ties see out. White Rock. You can see yeah. Point Roberts. You can see over to the island. You should be able to see the uh, Peace Arch. Not many people going across it, but there's no oh. <laughs> Including me. <laughs> so um, I feel like I'm really leaning in here, but it's because I'm short. <laughs> Um, so thank you for joining us. Uh, we missed you guys last week. We just took a little bit of a pause. And today we are here. Um, we want to talk a little bit about Packers. We opened this last weekend. Um, it was really exciting. It felt so good. I can't even tell you how amazing it was just to have people walk in. It felt super strange. I propped one of the doors open to the outside and it felt like I was doing something wrong. It was quite, it was quite a strange feeling yeah. to have people here after not having people here for so long. So it was fantastic. So we just wanted to say thank you so much for coming and supporting us. Um, it was so great to see a lot of our members. We belong, um, we have a Semiamu Golf Club up here. So we have a lot of healthcare members and social club members and golf members and so we saw quite a few people coming out on the yeah. weekend and so we just wanted to thank you so much i know joan price she came out i saw her and the wagners and the ionitas lots of people it was just so great to see uh, so many lovely faces uh, here and if you haven't come out yet this weekend we're open again friday saturday and sunday uh, Friday uh, and Saturday were open from 4 till 9 and Sunday is from 4 till 8. And do you want to talk a little about the menu because it's so, it's it's great. Yeah, definitely. So it's a little more seafood centric. Uh, has all of our classics on there. Steamer clams and chia pino and our wonderful uh, woodstone fired pizzas. Um, but then we also have, um, you know, a couple, of, we actually expanded our fish fry options. Okay. And so now you can get uh, oysters and chips, halibut and chips, salmon and chips, um, shrimp and chips, scallop and chips, oh, anything. Yeah. And so uh, uh, we've kind of expanded on that a little bit. Um, and then, uh, like I said, we have our classic salads, uh, desserts. We're doing uh, more and more different types of desserts coming up. Uh, it's been a little slow to start, so every week you'll see kind of improvements, additions, and changes. Um, another great, exciting thing this weekend is the Great Blue Heron up at the golf course will be um, expanding uh, seating. And so we'll have more seating outside, some seating inside in the Palmer Room, as well as our deck and patio, which would be really nice for, their, uh, for the Great Blue Heron as well. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah it's so, it, like, again, it's just so great to have people come. So we do have some limited seating here as well um, in Packers, and it's just a self-seating. Um, we don't have a hostess. It's, we're not taking reservations at this time. It's just come in and you're going to order your food here at Packers and then uh, we give you a buzzer and then you go find a seat and you have lots of picnic tables spread out over the lawn and our patio tables. And then on the bar side, we have some seating here and you just pick up your food when the buzzer goes off, you come up, pick up your food and go back to your seat and eat it and it's fantastic. And our bar, we just added six more beer taps and we're in the process of adding um, some wine on tap as well. So lots of exciting things. We'll be able to sell you some uh, pictures of beer and some signature cocktails. And as much as I know, I was, I'm not all about the cocktails in a can. I know you're not either. Mm -hmm. So it's been great to um, have an actual bartender here and have, um, you know, a crafted cocktail. So it's a lot of fun. So a couple weeks ago, we one of our cooking shows, I had Kim Crawford Semillon Blanc, and I was talking about how I am particularly, very particular, partic I still can't talk. So uh, I'm very, very picky about Semillon Blancs, and so I love Marlboro New Zealand Sav Blancs. Um, but for Washington wines, because of course we love to support local, and I love trying all these magnificent Washington wines. Three of Cups does a really great job with their Semillon Blancs. 
And so Mike Matheny saw that we had talked about him, and so he sent us a little bottle here of, not a little, but a big bottle of the Sav Blanc, the 2019. So we're going to try it and tell you what we think. It's probably not cold enough because I... Oh, it's nice. It's good. It's almost got a little uh, slight effervescence to it. Mm -hmm. Not quite frizzante, but there's a little lightness there to is. it, a little bubbliness to it. That's nice. Very yeah, clean. Nice. Yeah. Very clean. And it's not, I don't know, I find like a lot of the Washington Sav Blancs have a real bitterness through it and maybe a little earthy. Yeah. For a Sav Blanc, I really love to pair my Sav Blancs with my seafood or anything spicy because I enjoy the floral sweet but that clean kind of finish, and that's why I love Kim Crawford so much, but he does such a great job with this. It's a really nice, blanc. very clean wine. That, uh, typically, you know, again, different locations, and so the um, Washington, um, you know, just the stateside in comparison to New Zealand or um, Australia, those will have a lot more um, citrus and uh, tropical fruit notes, just being warmer environments. Um, different type of soil, all that stuff, while the stateside and uh, European as well will have a lot more of an earthy mineral content and more stone fruit, so you'll get more kind of peach, nectarine, less uh, mango or, yeah. you know, quince that you would yeah. might say out of a, um, an Australian or New Zealander. Mm -hmm. But this is a, it's nice because the, the mineral level is good, there's a slight you know, nice acidity to it, but it's not overwhelming. Yeah. I could see a piece of cheese or a piece of fruit uh, really bent, like really changing and working well on the palate yeah. for sure. Yeah. yeah, it's fantastic. Yeah, very enjoyable. So check out Three of Cups. They're down in Woodenville. He has a tasting room, and I believe that the um, the Woodenville tasting rooms are starting to open. Oh yeah. Uh, because if they're in phase two, there so. Um, they're allowed to have, um, I think, because I'm on his email list. And you can follow Three of Cups on Facebook as well. Um, definitely, you know, supporting local and, and some of these smaller boutique wine wineries is it's just the right thing to do. And it's just fun to try all their, their fun little varieties and how they're playing with the varieties of grapes. They have a tendency to be a little bit more innovative too. And so yeah. not only are their wines a lot of times different and not uh, stick to traditions, but then uh, newer wineries especially, their vintages will change a lot because they're learning how they're, right. how they're crafting. And so hopefully what you're getting is a better and better product every time, yeah. but at the very least, you're participating in somebody's creative uh, process. Yeah. I think that's really fun. It is, it's a lot of fun. So coming up in July, so speaking of phases, um, we're not in phase three yet, um, we're hoping who knows that it might be in a couple more weeks that will our county will be in phase three at that time um, July 3rd we are targeting that date to open Packers seven days a week for dinner and um, at that time we again will do our, um, table side service is the is the plan right now uh, and it would be limited seating reservations only uh, for table side service and uh, so but we will continue to do yes. our uh, take, out, take out, pick up, um, come grab it, sit anywhere, anywhere on the property. Um, and then uh, we also should soon um, have Viking yes. up and running. So we'll be able to do uh, deliveries throughout the um, community as well. Yeah. Um, not just from Great Blue Heron, which has already been doing that and continues to do their um, curbside pickup and semi amu community deliveries. We're going to have the ability to go out through the uh, rest of the uh, community. So that'll be really fun. And that's coming up again uh, soon. But that we will have, um, and again up to Great Blue Heron, we're going to have this weekend some more tables and chairs out on the, uh, hopefully out of the patio if the weather's nice, so we'll see. I know this weather this June has not been so far. This last weekend was really nice when yeah. the weather, it didn't look like the weather was supposed to be this nice, but it no. turned out really well, so. No, my phone kept saying rain, 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 and then I'd look outside, well, it's not raining. I did get a little bit of color. <laughs> um, but again, thank you guys so much for all of your love and your support. Um, tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we're gonna make uh, we're gonna make a semi omu classic, and hopefully this won't discourage you from coming in and ordering it yourself. But we're gonna make a semi omu seafood chiapino. Ooh.
So cool. that should be fun. That'll be great. Um, one of our great standards we've had for a long time. Give us the opportunity to uh, talk and walk you through our processes. Yeah. And then, like I said, you know, you can you can pay people to make food. Uh, you know, you can make food yourself all the time, but it's still fun to pay people and have somebody else do it and clean up after you. But we'll show you how to make uh, some of our classic recipes for sure. So yeah. tomorrow will be chia pina. Yeah. So thank you again. Thank you for supporting local. It's always the right thing to do. Supporting local is what is sustainable. So thank you so much. We're excited to have had you this past weekend and hope to see many of you this weekend as well. So again, Friday and Saturday, Packers is open from 4 till 9. And on Sunday, 4 till 8. And the Great Blue Heron is open every day, 11 till 6 for takeout. And on the 12th, they'll be having some in-house seating and on the patio as well, weather permitting. So thank you guys so much. We can see, I can see people are making comments, but I can't read that far away. <laughs> so thank you guys for joining us. Tune in tomorrow at three o'clock and Devin will be making the Chia Pino. Thanks guys. Have a good day. Thank you for joining us.